has been a leader across the state in the development of information technology. She's been student-centered with an educational vision that's still applied today, beginning in 1985. This person worked with a group of teachers in the Colchester High School to develop a grant where their students in high school would study Lake Champlain using an apple to eat. <laughs> it was uh, an environment that was interdisciplinary, it was project based, it was team teaching, it was student directed, and it changed even class time and took students out of school and let them do research, real research, on Lake Champlain, physically on Lake Champlain. <laughs> uh, this project's been recognized for 25 years as a model for us to look at what you can do with students in the high school arena. Uh, this person has been involved in many, many statewide activities. She was involved in implementing the technology grade level expectations in the state. She was a writer of the Vermont scenarios. She was an active member and is an active member in Vital Learn and a past board member on Vital Learn. She's been a school board member. She's been active in supporting professional development across the state with some of her initiatives. This person has presented many, many times at the Landscapes and Vermont Fest. They've been uh, providing new professional development, one of the first groups of people to use iPads in their school and provide professional development to special educators and to classroom teachers, and using universal design. Something you might not know about this person is that they're an actress. And actually, they're just a new actress. And they are starring in a movie that's going to be developed and put out for professional development in technology education through the University of Indiana. There are probably 25 things I could say about this person. But the most important thing is, when I went to speak to people around uh, the conference today about this person, I had kudos from Peter Drescher. I had kudos from uh, Bill Ramon. People who are and have been leading our state in educational technology. I'd like to present this to Lauren Kelly. Uh, we have a special prize that ISTE sends us, and it is the Pink Jacket Award. Making <laughs> it happen. It's so along with this recognition and the pink jacket. Congratulations, Lauren.